the field. Panthers uh, come in tonight, being senior tonight with a five and three record. Be facing the Southeast Lauderdale Tigers. Comes in with a three and five record. Panthers two and zero in district play. Would love to stay three and zero. Gonna be a tough matchup tonight. Southeast Lauderdale played a very hard, tough non-district schedule, so uh, you know they'll be ready and hungry. They've lost uh, a few in a row. They're out uh, tonight, and uh, uh, gonna be a hard-fought game. If you remember, Southeast Lauderdale, they uh, put aside the playoffs two out of the last four years, so uh, Panthers ought to be hungry for a little payback. So. Uh, we're going to step aside for just a moment. We'll be back with the kickoff in just a moment. And here's your kick. The ball's going to go out of bounds. There'll be a penalty on the play, so the Panthers will have a decision uh, to take it uh, uh, wherever it went out of bounds or, uh, or make them re-kick it. So I'm thinking they're going to move it out to the 35, I was told. So uh, that's where the Panthers will start their first and 10. Panthers coming out with a power formation uh, look uh, right off the bat. Carry it up the middle. Uh, off the left side is going to be uh, uh, LaMarcus Denson for a gain of about four. Going to bring up a second and six. Panthers go back with the power this time. Going to fake the, uh, gonna fake the jet sweep. And uh, Marcus Denson going to keep it off the right side this time for no gain. Nick. Bring up a third down and six. Third down possession time for the Panthers. Marcus Denson keeps it to the left side this time. He's out over the 40 to about the 41. It's going to be about three yards short. It's going to bring up a fourth down in a punting situation for the Panthers. Korea is on to do the punting. Soccer style, keep hooch it down inside the 30. Ball is going to roll inside the 20 and be down at about the 18, 19 the yard line. Down the 19 yard line. That's where the Tigers will Tigers. take over first and 10 when we get when we come back. Tigers come out in one back set. Going to run a keeper. Uh, the Black Panthers got it strung out pretty well. Going to be run out of bounds and uh, be a gain of about maybe one. By Cooper, along with Bring Massey, up a second and long. Jennings in there. Tigers, uh, second down. And long. Have a timeout on the field. Timeout. So we've got a timeout. Tigers, so we'll take a timeout. We'll be back with uh, no score. 921 left to go in the first. Second down for the Tigers. Ken Jennings. going to be off the right side for uh, no game by Ken. Stopped by Ken Jennings. Just like Jay Massey was in on the play. So we'll bring up a third down and nine. Third down, possession time for the Tigers. They will throw the ball. Uh, average about 80 yards a game. Uh, going to stay on the ground and uh, get out over the 25 to about the maybe 26. Going to bring up a fourth down and punting time for the Tigers. Number three, uh, White back to return the punt. Ball's going to go away from him. He's just going to let it bounce. and going to bounce down to about the 41-yard line. That's where the Panthers have this field position to start their second possession. We come back. I'll explain it to come out with a one-back set this time. Vaughn Jennings alongside Lamarcus Denson gives going to be to Lamarcus, uh, Devon. He's going to be out of the 41 to about the 42. Be a gain of one. Bring up a second and nine. Second and eight. That's just going to... Keep it this time to Marcus Denson. He's going to be out over the 45 to so about the 49. Going to be a couple of yards short. It's going to bring up a third and a long two. Third and short. Panthers need a first down here. Keep this drive alive. 
offense would love to strike first with some points on the board here. High snap handled by Marcus, and uh, he's going to be hit and fumble, but fumble the Panthers the get on it. They're going to lose some yardage. It's going to be uh, fourth down and about six. Perea is on for the punting duties. Snaps back. A little pressure. He gets it away. Going to be bouncing. Uh, did the Southeast Lauderdale defender Austin touch it? Perea's going to be down inside the five yard line. Uh, no indication it's like it's going to be Southeast Lauderdale ball, but it's going to be inside the three. Tigers standing in their own end zone. Backfield is. Pants would love to put a little pressure here and see if we can get a safety out of this or something. Number uh, three for the Tigers is going to carry it out over the left side to a gain of two or three. Going to bring up a second down and let's call it uh, seven. run off the right side this time. Uh, looks like a uh, big Teddy Walker in there will stop. And it's going to bring up a third down and let's call it a about four. Third down. Give me a keep by the quarterback. He's out over the Five, over to over the, over the 20 to the 25. He's going to have enough for a first down. Good hard running by the quarterback there. Right Keep his feet and stay up. Uh, uh, get out of the shadows of the uh, goal line. So Peter it'll be a Evans. first down. Tigers. Tigers working the middle of the field again. Going to go nowhere this time. Ken Jennings in on the stop. And... Uh, White and Kateri uh, Looks like I had another the youngster there. I'll try to get that number. Uh, looks like uh, Matthew Brassfield, maybe, uh, on the stop. So it's going to bring up a uh, second and nine. Second and long for the Tigers. Uh, going to run the jet sweep this time. Number 15. He's got some running room out over the edge. And it's going to be out close to about the 35, 34 yard line. Uh, so bring up a third down and I'll let's call it three. Third and short yardage. Uh, Katie Walker in on the stop there. Pulling the pile back. Looks like he may be short of the first down. Uh, we'll have to wait for the pile to clear out and see where we're looking at. But it looks like he's going to be about a uh, half yard short. We'll be back. First down, Tigers. They did earn enough to get the first down, so go back to work in the middle. And Ken Jenny comes knife and in for a stop. I'm going to bring up a second and long. Second and long. Going to be a keeper by the quarterback. He's looking for running room. He's going to be knife down by. Looks like a number 25, and that's going to be. Uh, by Matthew Brassfield. Brassfield, that's right. Brass, Brassfield, that's the second time we called his name tonight. So, um, I'm bring up a third and long for the Tigers. There'll be no gain on the play. Third and long. Panthers love to get a big stop right here. It's when he's throwing the situation. He's airing it out. Got a man deep. He can just overshot him. Uh, defender was pulling away there at the last minute. Uh, they'll probably have to come back to that play later on. So that'll bring up a fourth down and a punting situation for the Tigers. Punting time. Whoa, got a flag. Got a uh, stoppage on the play. Uh, let's check that out. Uh, looks like a false uh, offside on the Panthers. It's going to be a five-yard mark off. Five-yard penalty. Down remain fourth down. So uh, be a uh, Fourth down and about nine. No. Nope. Had a false start. Be another punting situation. Hunter gets it away and uh, looks like uh, White's going to just be content to just let her bounce and go about down to around the 22 yard line. Ask where the Panthers will take over there when we come back.
Panthers back on attack. Give Devon Jennings up the middle. He's going to carry out to about the 25-yard line before he'll be tripped up there. He was uh, just about a half a step away from breaking now. Bring up a second down and five. Devon Jennings come up a little limp on that last play and um, hobbled off to the sideline. We have to get a report on him. LaMarcus Nenson's going to carry it. And the ball's out on the ground. And it looks like Southeast Lauderdale's going to scoop it up. We'll carry it down to about the 10 yard line. Panthers shot themselves in the foot there. So uh, quickly the Panthers find their defense in the hole with a Southeast Lauderdale first and goal at the nine. Tigers go to the one back set. It's going to be a direct snap keep to the quarterback, and he's going to go in and touch for a Tiger touchdown. Extra point coming up for the Tigers. Snap back, kick is blocked. So the DAT will be no good. It'll be six to nothing is your score with 24 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Tigers kick away. Ball's going to bounce uh, inside the 20 down to about the 11. We're going to pick it up and just run out of bounds. So it'll be a good kickoff for the Tigers. We're going to run it out of bounds at the 11-yard line. It'll be uh, where we'll start when we come back. Panthers first and 10. It was going to be the number five up the middle, and he's going to be out over the 10 to the, about the 15 Harrison yard line. Wilson on the carry for the Panthers. <clears throat> it's going to bring up a second down, seven. As we begin the second quarter, Panthers with a second and six. It's going to be a fake and a keep by LaMarcus Denson. He's going to be up around the 20. LaMarcus Denson on the keep. 20 to 20, 21. It's going to be close to a Panther first down. Throw down by number 30. First down, Panthers. Uh, that play kind of got blowed up in the backfield. Uh, that be a loss of a yard. It's going to bring up a second and long. Second and long for the Panthers. Be another keep by LaMarcus Nissen. He's out over the 20 to the 25, out to about the 28 yard line. <clears throat> Good second down pickup. Get up some of that lost and, and some extra. It's going to bring up a uh, third down, and let's call it a long three. Third down for the Panthers. LaMarcus looking for some running room. He found enough to get the first down out to about the 35 on second effort there. So good job by him. It'll be a Panther first down. First and ten, Panthers. Another keep by LaMarcus. He's going to be uh, corralled at uh, right at the 35. He's going to lean forward for a couple of yards. Bring up a second and long. Second down carry by LaMarcus Denson up the middle. It's going to be out over the 40 to about the 43. It's going to bring up a third down and two. Two. Give is going to be the number five up the middle, and he's got enough for the first down. And before he's driven back, he's going to be out over the 45 to about the 48. That number five is going to be Garrett uh, Wilson, and uh, that's going to be enough for a Panther first down. First down, Panthers. Best drive of the night so far. Panthers are going to take a time out and talk about it. We'll be back in just a moment. After the time out, Panthers got their play down, ready to go, and Carrington Wilson's going to carry it. He's going to be corralled in the backfield for a loss of about three. So uh, bring up a second down and long. Second down, Carrington Wilson going to carry it around the left end. Got some running room. He's out to uh, around about the 44, uh, 43 yard line. We got a flag on the play, so uh, like I said, uh, 
in the area of a holding, uh, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it can be a uh, it's like a hold on the Panthers, so that will negate that run. So, penalty from the spot of the foul. Mark it off, bring up a second and long. Second and long, look like the Panthers may try to throw it. And Marcus looking, looking, going to throw it, and they'll get number 17. And uh, he's still on his feet out to around the uh, midfield strike. And to Terry Smith, we have Terry Smith uh, number 17, good uh, throw and catch. Looks like we may have a late hit on the uh, quarterback, I'm thinking. But uh, we'll step aside and check that out and be right back. Roughing the passer was the call, so that'll give the Panthers a first down. And I think no uh, penalty marker down the Marcus may have got one to jump into his neutral zone. Be a dead ball. Be a first and five. Penalty against the uh, when we come back. Be a five. First and five. The Marcus looking to throw again. No, he's going to keep it. And um, he's looking, looking down inside the 40. We run out of bounds at about the 38. The that's where the battle will be facing the third or I'm not, we'll call it a long two. Panthers go with a little power this time. And go right up the middle. And looks like uh, the Marcus has got enough for the first down, down to around the third yard line. Panthers got a good drive going on here. Just uh, just need to stay smart, hold on to the ball, and just take what the uh, Tigers are giving you right now. First down, Panthers. Uh, looks like we had a bad snap and uh, something. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm thinking that uh, White was able to get back on the ball. Uh, not sure, but uh, nevertheless, be a loss on the play. So be, a, be a false start on the Panthers. So be a five-yard penalty. Be a five-yard mark. I'll bring up a first and fifteen. First and 15. The Marcus is going to keep it off the left side. It's going to squirt down inside the 30 to about the 29 28. The uh, going to pick up that penalty yardage plus a few. Going to bring up a second and seven. Second and nine. The Marcus is going to keep it to the right side. No, oh, he's going to find some trouble there. Uh, he's going to lose yardage back to about the 35. So we'll, we'll bring up a third down and long situation for the Panthers when we come back. Third and long. Marcus Denson looking to throw, looking to throw. He's going to throw back over in the middle and uh, look like he's intended for Ken complete. Jennings. Going to go in complete. It's going to bring Curtis up a fourth down field. at 15 and uh, decision right, time for the Panthers. Fourth and long, Panthers go trips to the left and uh, looks like the uh, had flags now before the uh, snap. Uh, ball start on the Panthers. It's going to be another five yard mark off. That's going to bring up a fourth down and 20. Fourth and 20. Panthers going to roll the dice and go for it. Going to throw it up and uh, it's going to go. Incomplete at about the 20 yard line, and then the uh, Tigers will take over from their own 38 yard line. 38 yard line. We'll be back. Tigers go first and 10 at 38. Panthers defense is rallying. Uh, had a, looks like a late flag come in. Uh, not sure what that was about, but uh, we'll check it out and uh, let you know when we come back. Personal foul, offsetting penalty, so uh, no one to differ. And uh, so uh, replay first down, and we'll see Dave Dave Massey. Massey's going to come up with a stop. Uh, uh, not with four, number three for the, the Tiger. Picks up a gain of about four, bring up a second and six. Third down and six. I stand corrected. Looks like a throw-in situation. Uh, throw over the middle is going to be complete to uh, number four for the Tigers, and uh, he's going to have enough for a Tiger first down. First down, Tigers. 
And Panther Territory carry right up the middle is going to be carry off a big chunk Lamar down to about the 31 yard line. That's going to be enough for another for Tiger Tigers. first down. Panthers on their heels right now. Tigers have found some running up the middle, and it looks like number three is going to go in for another Tiger touchdown. 30 something yards out, and uh, the Tigers going to stretch that lead out to 12 to nothing with 2.53 left to go in the first half. We'll be back with extra point. Tigers going to go for two. And uh, looks like the quarterback on the knife in there. He's found another opening, and it's going to be 14 to nothing with a two point conversion. With 2.53 left to go in the first half. Tigers on for the kickoff. It's going to be a pooch kick. Taking it about to 40. Number, looks like number six, maybe. I think it is Trey Davis, number six. Carries it out to midfield. And Panthers will have good field position with 250, 246. Left to go in the first half. The opportunity to put some points on the board. Panthers, you call for a all start, start again. Uh, Panthers to start another drive, first and 15. Down remain first down. First and 15. Yeah, it's going to be the number 25. Up here this time with Matthew Brassfield. Brassfield, and uh, he carries the ball out to. Uh, or down to, I should say, to about the 45, 43 yard line. It's going to bring up a second down and it's called a long three. Second down again and uh, number 25, Brassfield, still on his feet, down inside the 30 to about the 27. That's going to be enough for a Panther first down. Not before Brassfield got. Panthers 144 left in the first half. Uh, picked up a couple back-to-back -back first downs. Marcus Denson carries around the left end. It's going to be down inside the, inside the 25, down to about the 22, 23-yard line. And that's going to be uh, another good first down gain. So bring up a second down, and let's call it, uh, let's call it five. Panthers a little over a minute left in the first half now. Going to start watching that clock. Gives to Brassfield again. He powers up the middle down to about the 21-yard line. And that's going to be enough for another Panther first down. That will stop the clock momentarily at 101. So the Panthers need to have a play call and ready to roll here when they uh, turn it loose. And uh, uh, looks like we got a, a stoppage on the play. So, uh, looks Panthers like uh, Southeast is going to take a timeout. So, Panthers have got them on their heels right now and love to put seven on the board I for half. We'll be back. <laughs> After the timeout, Panthers go with Lamarcus for following. For, uh, 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 still on his feet. Lamarcus is. He's following number 25. Brassfield, I, I don't know why I can't remember that youngster's name. So Panthers going to take a timeout with 43 Morton. seconds. Going to bring up a uh, second down and let's call After it a down, long two when down, we come back. Three for the Panthers. After the Panthers timeout, 43 seconds left. Plenty of time. Gives to Brassfield off to the left side. He's uh, going to be wrestled down this time, but he's close to the first down. Let's check and see where the mark is at. Uh, Panthers hustling. Uh, no signal yet. Uh, Looks like they're going to call him short, so it's going to bring up a third down and short. Top clock is a ticking, and uh, looks like uh, there's a misdirection or something. The ball is going to be uh, down way back at the 20-yard line, and I don't know if the Panthers have a timeout. There's 13 seconds left. The clock is ticking. Tick, 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 tick. Down to nine now. I don't know if the Panthers are going to try to even get a playoff before the end of the half. Finally, with one second, we take a timeout, so we're going to take a timeout, too. We'll be back in just a moment. 
One second left. Panthers uh, got one last play before halftime. So it's going to be a throw it up and see what we can come up with. And it's going to be intercepted. And uh, looks like the uh, Tigers are going to try to return it. And looks like the uh, Tigers are going to return it. Some 100 and plus yards for a uh, Tiger touchdown. So they're going to start the second half with, uh, with the ball and a 20 could be a 21 point lead. We'll be back. Extra point coming up. Snaps back, kicks up, and it is good. So the Tigers have a 21 to nothing lead as we go to half. We'll be back with a second half kickoff in just a bit. Second half kickoff, Panthers kick off to the southeast and uh, little to no return, but we had a flag at the end of that play, so we'll check that out and be right back with the, uh, the call on that. First down, Tigers. will be a quarterback run off the right side. He's still on his feet. Got enough for a first down out to about the 35-yard line. Toby Cooper. First down, Tigers. Uh, Kevin Katie Walker, Walker blows that play up in the middle finish. for a loss of about three Little or four. Bring up a second and long. Second and long. Bad snap. It's going to be handled by the quarterback. He's looking for running room. He's going to just throw the ball incomplete. There was a receiver in the area, so... Uh, Pass goes incomplete. Looks like it's going to bring up a third down. And long. And Justin providing third and long for the Tigers. Pass, looking, looking, throws over the middle. It's going to go incomplete. It'll be a fourth down and punting time for the Tigers. Tigers on for a punting duties. Kind of a little out of stoppage on the play. So looks like we had a somebody move. Uh, looks like it's going to be on the Tigers, so it'll back it up five. Back it up, and we'll re-kick it. Another high snap. Punter's able to get it away. It's going to be a squibber kick. Going down, down, be down to just uh, about the 41 Probably yard line. Panthers have good field position. They can do something with it. They uh, struggled offensively tonight. A uh, couple drives, but uh, stalled out. So we'll see what they can do uh, as we start the third quarter. We'll be back. Like we got a ball start on the Panthers. That's going to start them behind the chain, so to speak. And uh, that uh, going to cause a cause first and 15. We come back. First and 15. Gibbs going to beat uh, Brassfield. Uh, gets back that penalty yard, looks like. And. Uh, it's going to bring up a second down, and let's call it, uh, call it nine. Keeper by LaMarcus Denson to the left side. He's got running room out of the 50 Denson. down to about the 48. The Looks side. like he has enough for a Broke Panther down first down. Panthers did pick up first down, so Panthers in southeast Lauderdale territory. Gibbs going to be to Brassfield. He's got some running room off to the right side. He's on one feet down to the 40 to the 35. He's finally going to be brought down around the 31 and another Panther first down. First down, Panthers. 
Keep by the markers off the left side. He's going to be down to about the 26-yard line. Good surge by the offensive line that time. down by Second and six, give to Brassfield. He's going to be met in the backfield that time. That play was blown up. Met behind the line of scrimmage. Had a missed assignment or a shot a gap or something, but that blowed up in the backfield. It's going to bring up a third down and nine. The Marcus Nissen carries off to the right side this time. He's going to pick up uh, maybe a yard. He's going to bring up a fourth down and about an eight from the 30-yard line, and the Panthers have to make a decision. Uh, looks like they're going to bring up fourth and uh, the change of personnel, I'm not sure if we're punting or or what. Uh, looks like we are punting. Uh, don't understand this call, but uh, nevertheless, uh, Panthers are going to punt. See if they can pin the Tigers back deep. So, going to be a little pooch kick. I'm going to try to down it. Uh, uh, Perez does an awesome job just, just making that baby drop and die like a like a, like a cough shot. Uh, it's going to die at about the uh, four-yard line. That's where the Tigers will take over when we come back. Tigers start in there, standing in their own end zone. It's going to be a direct snap to quarterback. Just going to... Try to power it out and uh, quarterback Ruffin keeps around the far side. Looks like the Panthers strung Backed it out and did a good job by Panthers. Ken Jennings Ken and a host of other Panthers. Coming up a second down and way. eleven. Second down for the Tiger. Right up the middle. Looks like that quarterback uh Ruffin's gonna pick up a few. Bring up up third middle. down and nine. Toby Cooper. Third and long. Quarterback's just going to keep it right up the middle again. And, uh, it's going to be short of the first down. And uh, Panthers, uh, Panthers will be getting the ball back. Should have good field position. Uh, Tigers will be punting out of their own end zone when we come back. Well, I'd love to see White return one right here and put some points on the board. Uh, kicks away. Looks like uh, White's going to have an opportunity. The ball gets away from him. Going to bounce back to the 40. And uh, looks like he's just going to get out on it. Uh, so uh, an opportunity to make a return is going to be a low the loss for about 15 more yards. And uh, Panthers will be starting back in their own territory when we come back. Panthers were given a penalty. Uh, before the play for, be a false start against, the Panthers. against the Panthers for something. We don't know what that was. Uh, and now we got a false start. So now it's going to be first and 20. Panthers are self-destructing right now, going in the wrong direction. Uh, not sure what's going on. Marcus Nixon is out of the ball game. Uh, for some reason, that altercation... Uh, uh, I, I'm not. I'm really not sure what's going on right now. Uh, Panthers are just. Uh, uh, not sure. We'll be back. The last penalty was actually on the uh, Southeast Lauderdale, and uh, Brassfield carries the ball off the right side out to about the 40-yard line. It's going to pick up some of that penalty yardage plus a few more. So bring up a uh, second down and eight. Second and seven, Marcus Nixon returns into the game. Uh, Brassfield carries around the right side. It's going to be out over 40 to about the 42 yard line. We've got a flag comes in. Uh, not sure what that call is. Uh, looks like in the area of a hole, so we'll see. Looks like, yep, it's going to be a hole on the Panthers. So, uh, yeah, another mark off. Panthers are racking up the penalty yards tonight. Uh, uh, probably got as many penalty yards as we do rushing yards right now, so. Uh, just need to going to work on cleaning that up. Uh, it's gonna bring up a second down and uh, back around 20. Give the brass field up the middle again, and uh, Matthews, uh, maybe doesn't maybe doesn't got everything they're gonna get out of that play. 
Um, it's like the attackers knifed in there and just blowed that play up for little to no gain. It's going to bring up a uh, third down and uh, long. Third and very long, probably a passing down. Nope, we're going to run it. And uh, DeMarcus is going to get out over the 30 to about the 32. It's going to be uh, way short of the first down. It's going to bring up a fourth down running situation for the Panthers. Perez back to punt. Going to soccer boom it. And uh, number three, uh, had a pick, and uh, looks like number six, Trey Davis, picks it up. Uh, number three saw six going his way, and uh, uh, Trey Davis picks it up and returns it down to about the 15-yard line. And uh, looks like the Panthers uh, will take over there, first and ten. Panthers give to Barfield. He's Cheering off the left side, barreling down inside the 20, down to about the 17, 18-yard line. It's going to be close to a first down. Marcus Nenson keeps off the left side. He's going to have enough for a Panther first down. And uh, so that'll move the sticks. And the Panthers inside the red zone. Once again, see if they can get some points out of this with 2.10 left to go in the third quarter. Down Panthers, round of 15, number five. Uh, uh, Wilson's going to carry and still on his feet. Still on his feet. Down to the and he's in there for a Panther touchdown. Wilson would not be denied. Just kept his, his feet, kept power, and kept driving, and and, uh, and you know when you can believe, you can move mountains. And uh, I believe you moved a mountain right there. And the Panthers finally get on the scoreboard with 141, 21 to 6 with Perez on for the extra point. Like to see those extra points. Now back, kicks up, and it is good. So 21 to 7 in the third quarter to 141 left to go. Panthers finally break the ice. So maybe we got a ball game here. We'll see when we come back. Perez on for the kickoff. Look like he's gonna do a little pooching tonight, and ball's gonna fall right in the middle of the a soft spot, and looks like number three is gonna pick it up, and he's still on his feet out over midfield. He's finally drugged down by Creel. And uh, Diedrich Evans. Evans. So they, Southeast Lauderdale wrestles field position back away from the Panthers quickly. Panthers defense needs to stiffen up right here and get the ball back to the Panthers. And uh, off the right side, it's going to carry down inside the 45, 40, 45 to about the 44. It's going to bring up a second down. Seven. Second and seven for the Panth- uh, Tigers. Roughing on the keep, brought down by Jarvis White. Several Panthers in on the stop, so we'll bring up a third down and a long three. Third down, possession play for the Panthers right here. Love to come up with a big stop. It's going to be a keep off the right side. Number three looking for some running room. Looks like he's going to come up short. I uh, have to see where the... Uh, See where it's spotted, but it looks like from here he's a little short, but you know we're a little biased too, so uh, uh, we'll see where they mark it, and uh, looks like he's going to be about a yard or two short. See what the Tigers want to do when we come back. That's the end of the third quarter with the Tigers leading 21-7. to We'll be back with the fourth quarter in just a moment. Looks like the Tigers going to roll the dice and go for it here for the third, fourth, and short. Uh, oh, he almost had him, and it looks like he's going to break it, and he could go all the way. The markers are not going to catch him. So a fourth down looks like a Mississippi State play from back in the day. And uh, looks like we got a little hold on the right side or left side, but uh, to, no, to no avail, we didn't get the call over there. There's no way that uh, uh, we uh, could have got could have let, let, let him get outside. Unless there was some holding going on. We saw it from here, we believe. But uh, nevertheless, it's uh, 27 to 7. 
And here's the extra point. Uh, Panthers had an opportunity to come up with a big stop there. And uh, credit uh, Southeast Lauderdale. They uh, come up with a big play and score from 30-something yards out. And quickly the uh, Tigers answered the Panthers' touchdown with a touchdown of their own. 28-7. We'll be back. Here's your kick. Looks like Barlow is going to return it, and uh, he's still on his feet out over the 30, about the 35 yard line, and that's where the Panthers will start their next possession when we come back. How do you become all American? Miss Cassidy Derrick, Miss Gracie Wooten, Miss Aubriana Lowry, Ariana Puckett, and our junior cheerleader, Rivonda Harvey. And Maya Lee. Sophomore cheerleaders are Madison Crockwell, Mallory Irby, Alexis Jackson, Spencer Summerall. And our freshman cheerleader is Ms. Jocelyn Fitzhugh. And that's our, and our 2018 uh, uh, Morton Panther cheerleaders do an awesome job, do an awesome job. Uh, really proud of them and their. Uh, Always pepping up the team, uh, keeping them going, and uh, Panthers back on back on schedule, Matthew out on the field. Uh, Marcus Denson hands off to Barfield, and uh, he's going to carry out to uh, uh, about the 35-yard line uh, for a little, about a gain of one, to so bring up a second down and nine. Second down and nine. Keep by LaMarcus Denson, looking for some running room. Breaks it out over the 40 to the 45. Be up out to around the 47, 48 yard line. We'll have enough for a pass the first down. Give to Barfield again. Off the right side this time. And uh, he's going to be out down to around the 47 yard line. Uh, good first down pickup. It's going to bring up a second down and about six. Second down for the Panthers. Give it to number five. Wilson, he's looking for some running room off the right side. He's down close to a first down. Looks like he may be about a, about a half a yard short uh, from here. So we'll bring up a third and short. Third and short. Marcus Nenson carries uh, up the middle down to about the 39 yard line. It is going to have enough for the necessary yardage for a Panther first down. A little uh, highlight or a little note uh, on the side. Uh, Vaughn Jennings is uh, supporting uh, with crutches right now. Uh, looks like he will not return tonight. Uh, hope he uh, gets well quickly next week. Uh, uh, he's uh, got his shoe and everything off and uh, supporting the crutches right now. So uh, we uh, have to remember him in our prayers this up and coming week. Uh, uh, we'd love to have him back for Forest Week. Uh, Wilson on the carry for the Panthers. Panthers uh, carry down to uh, Wilson carries down inside the Chris 40 Madison. to about the 36 yard line. And that'll bring up a second down and eight. Marcus Nixon's going to keep and follow Barfield. And uh, he's going to be uh, Brassfield, I'm sorry. Um, and it's going to be. Uh, Carried down uh, inside the 35 to the 34. We had a player from Southeast go down, so we'll step aside and check that out. <clears throat> Youngster caught a cramp for the Tigers. Back to play in now. Lamarcus Nixon carries uh, up the middle, and uh, he's going to go for a gain of a one, maybe two. Uh, going to bring up a uh, fourth down and long. Uh, well, you think the Panthers got to go for it here? Uh, I don't think they were sure that it was. Sure, they. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if they knew it was fourth down or third down. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, fourth down. Panthers are going to roll the dice and go right now. It's eight minutes left to go. Panthers down by 21. Looking, looking, looking. Uh, Gonna throw it, and the ball is going to be knocked away by number 23 for the Tigers. And That'll stop the Panther drive, and the Tigers will take over with uh, 7.53 left to go in a 21-point lead. (laughs) 
Tiger's probably going to be content to do a little uh, time management here and uh, probably try to run a lot of this clock down with uh, seven and a well, half Taylor, minutes Naylor, Naylor, counting left to go the in the uh, fourth quarter. Well done by Ken Jennings. Second down, call it seven. Quarterback still on his feet, still running. Uh, Panthers uh, had given up, I guess, and thought he was down, and he busted out of there and uh, picked up enough yardage for a necessary first down. First down, Tiger. Out of the 46-yard line, going to be a keep by the quarterback. He's going to lean Brooklyn, forward and pick up two or three. Pick up a second down and about seven. Second down and seven. Here's going to be to number 25. He's uh, carrying off the right side. It's going to be uh, brought down by Jake Massey, but uh, I'm boy, he's very close to a Tiger first down. going to be about a yard short. A third down and call it a long one. Third and a long one. And uh, Panthers come barreling through, bring out a big blitz that time. And looks like uh, uh, Cooper and uh, uh, trying to get that other youngster name. Bashan uh, Washington also in on the stop. So bring up a fourth down and a long three. The Tigers broke the Panthers back a while ago on a fourth and short and uh, was able to break it off. And here he goes again. He's going to do the same thing he did a while ago, uh, fourth and short, and he's going to break it some 40 yards. And uh, that's going to blow this thing wide open now with a 34 to 7 lead with 433 left to go in the ball game. Extra point. Kicks up, it is good. 35 to 7. Tigers are pulling away. Here's your kick. Gonna be a squibber gonna go out of bounds. Lonzo's kick goes out of bounds for an illegal procedure penalty. Panthers have to make a choice whether they want to make them re kick or take it at 35. We'll be back. Panthers on the attack. 4.33 left to go in the ball game. Going to try a little throwing. Uh, throw out to Barlow. He's out over the 40. Down and be run out about the 44. It'll be about a, about a half a yard short. Or maybe he has enough. They have enough for a pass their first down. Good job, Barlow. Vincent give to Wilson. He's got some running room. Out over the 40 down to the... 50 here down to about the 40, 41 yard line. Going to be enough for another Panther first down. Panthers not quitting right now. Uh, move Wilson out to a slot and uh, is going to throw and uh, going to throw it up deep and uh, the ball is going to go incomplete. They, uh, got a flag come in late. Uh, they had the underneath receiver, number 10, which is uh, 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 Crockett was coming underneath. I uh, thought he was uh, wide open there, but uh, Marcus uh, didn't see it. So, uh, nevertheless, Panthers do pick up the first down on a uh, penalty for uh, pass interference. So, that'll move down, move the ball down to about the 26-yard line. And uh, that's where the Panthers will go from there. Uh, Gibbs is going to be the uh, brass field, and uh, he's going to barrel down inside the 25 to about the 24. Pick up a couple, bring up a second and eight. Marcus is going to follow brass field this time. going to be down around the 20. Before he stopped Lamar there, and it's going to be uh, another gain of a few. It's going to bring up a third down and five. Well done by Chris. Third and five. 
Give the brass field around the left side. He's going to be down inside the 20 to about the 19. And it's going to be a, a couple yards short. It's going to be fourth down. I'm sure the Panthers are going to go for it here. So to 150 and counting, Panthers uh, love to put another score on the board just for prosperity's sake. Uh, game's out of reach right now, 35 to 7. 140 left to go in the ball game. Pass goes incomplete, almost picked off, but uh, nevertheless, the uh, Tigers will take over, and uh, with 126 left to go, probably run the clock out. Uh, don't forget, next week we'll be going to Forest to uh, take on the Forest Bearcats and the Cross Cow rivalry. Uh, that'll be at Forest. Uh, at 7 o'clock uh, for the chicken. So uh, need as many fans as we can get up there next week to bring and support and uh, make, a, make a noise for the Panthers this coming up week. Uh, uh, remember Vaughn Jennings uh, got hurt early in the ball game tonight. Uh, we need to get his ankle well. And uh, also uh, maybe a few other minor bang up. Uh, hopefully... Uh, It'll be kind of healthy come into next week's game. Uh, so, uh, looks like the Tigers are going to uh, take a knee and uh, run the clock out. Uh, uh, Panthers uh, just, uh, just, just never got the wheels uh, rolling in the right direction tonight. Uh, and hats off to Southeast Lauderdale. They've been reeling. I think they've lost like four in a row and took a heavy, heavy uh, pounding from... Um, Forest last week, uh, 47 to 7. So uh, that's sure they had a bad taste in their mouth of that. This is uh, three times in the last five years they come up here and uh, and defeated the Panthers uh, a couple times in the playoff games and uh, tonight. So uh, uh, Panthers will have to return the favor next year going down to no Southeast Lauderdale. Hopefully we can. Uh, Make, your final score here make them feel just as welcome as they made, feel, made us feel the last few years. So, uh, 34 seconds left to go. Uh, Panther, uh, the Tigers have to snap it one more time, and that'll wind her up. Uh, 35 to 7 is going to be your final score. Panthers will go to 5 and 4 on the year, and. Uh, uh, be uh, two and one in district play, that's so gonna uh, that's going to be your ball game. Uh, Panthers will be uh, traveling to Forest next Friday night, so make your plans to be there and uh, support the Panthers. Uh, uh, we still have not got our All-State team, and I am going to get run off if I don't do it. I promise. Next week, I will have it. So I promise I'll have it next week. Uh, been hit and miss this year. I, it's been a tough year for me. So if you'll hold on, we'll we'll try to get her all straightened out. Final score tonight: 35 to 7. Southeast Lauderdale comes into Morton Panther Stadium and uh, uh, shakes our pants real good. So uh, next week we go to Forest. Don't forget, be there at seven o'clock. Uh, this is Donovan Offord, or this is James O'Kane. Along with Donovan Alford, we will uh, see you next Friday night. Have a good week and God bless.